usually the patients come into the doctor because they're short of breath and they may have cough. And the breathlessness usually is only when they exert themselves. If they're sitting quietly, they're fine. But when they start to exert themselves, they're more short of breath. So they come in to understand why they're short of breath, usually with exercise. And then the diagnosis is made on the basis of getting x-rays of the lung, and you see shadows in the lung, and on the basis of lung function testing. And then to make a specific diagnosis, you sometimes have to do a lung biopsy to look at the tissue under the microscope to see the kind of damage that's going on. Some of these diseases, it completely cures it just by using prednisone. And, but most of the diseases, prednisone doesn't work so well. And then we add a, another drug. The most common one we use now is called azathioprine. It's a drug that suppresses the immune system, and uh, as does prednisone also suppresses the immune system. But these drugs work in different ways, and um, it's usually a combination of prednisone, azathioprine, and in the last year, we have been using another third drug called acetylcysteine. And the three drugs are sort of the drug, the combination that's currently being used. percentage of patients that has been transplanted has a good outcome? Um, well, in, in this population of lung fibrosis, the outcome is improving. So that after about three years, 70% of patients who have been transplanted are still alive. And now we're finding with the new ways that they're handling a the transplant, that survival appears to be getting better. So at five years, it's somewhere around 50 to 60%, depending on the center.